Hey friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Jess and I am going to tell you about this lovely forest girl coloring book that I got. Um, and this is actually my second time getting it. I had purchased this book a while back and was elated to have it because it's, um, it supports uh, painting, watercoloring, and stuff like that. And and y'all know I love doing that. I mean, I love my pencils, but I love to watercolor. And this book, the line art is just seriously amazing. And so I thought what I would do is a, is a little flip. So most of you may have already seen this, and if you haven't, welcome to it. I love this type of art. I love the coloring. It's very vintage feeling and it is right up my alley. This is a very well-made book. Um, I mean, I got this on sale for $21. Felt very good about that. Especially because I've had to purchase it now twice. That does not ever make me happy. The reason why I purchased it twice is because we went on a trip um, December. We had um, taken some time off to kind of rest our bones and got a nice um, room at the coast and sure enough somehow some way I lost it and didn't ever even color in it so the pouty me waited months to see if it would turn up and it hasn't turned up so I am going to show you a little bit about the book and then I'm gonna let you see a little bit of what I'm gonna do so that's it today hope you enjoy and you know subscribe I mean, I can wait for you if you want me to. You want to subscribe now? Have at it. Oh, this is super cute for for Christmas. Super cute. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait. And they give you these reference pictures on this side. Um, basically, this is saying, welcome Christmas. It's 2015 is what they're saying. Uh, I'm not going to go over the whole book because I'm sure there's been a flip through of it. But... Um, Meaning I'm not going to read everything, but you guys can flip through it quickly with me and I'm going to pick something to color. I've got my Derwent ink tents out and they are going to be my medium choice this evening. Oh, look at that. That's cute. The bear and the girl painting the house. Hmm, what shall we color, guys? What shall we color? And the question is, do I try to reference the same colors in the pictures? I guess that's my question. I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What shall I do? Hmm. <clears throat> that was part three. Apparently there's three parts in this book. So, let's see. Here is part two. Cute dress. Ooh, look at that. They've left it open so that you can add detail onto the dress if you want to. It's very creative. And also the tile, because in the picture it's got, like, Spanish or Moroccan style or something like that. And that's pretty interesting. It's really nice when books leave a little bit of um, leeway for, for, you know, making, oh, I like that one, making it your own personality, making it your own touch, and making this your book versus their book and their idea. I'm most positive that most illustrators create so that they can see how it's interpreted, interpreted through other colorists and stuff like that. That's my, I don't know, what do you guys think? You think the same way or no? Why do you think people create art? especially create art for other people to kind of take over over and like maneuver through it like what does that even mean hmm so part one I know I went kind of wonky but like I said this isn't a traditional review of the book I'm just doing a quick flip to see what I even want to do um I quite possibly will maybe even I don't know what I'm going to do guys what should I do should I just find a picture and go for it or should I practice any meeny miny moe. Any meeny miny Catch a tiger by the toe. I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just being a child. There's some beautiful bright colors in this. I think my Derwents are going to be my best bet for it. Let's see what we got. Lasers. Ooh, I went too fast. That's cute. Oh, 
I like that one a lot too. Yeah, I like them all. I seriously am in love with this book. Like I literally wanted to cry. So anyway, I'm gonna get pick out a page here. I'm gonna get started, hang out with me. Uh, we're gonna get started now.
Okay guys, I totally um, enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed yourself and seeing how I use my Derwent ink tents um, and on the back wall. At this point, what I would do is I would probably stop with my Derwent ink tents. However, you can use them as pencils, but I personally would move on to maybe my polys or maybe my Lyra's um, to finish up the detail in the brick, even though it doesn't look bad. It looks very watercolored, um, but I personally would like to, to bring out less of this harshness. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me how you would. Would you leave it? Would you continue with pencils? What would you do? Uh, let me know. Thank you so much for being here. I love everybody. Um, like, subscribe. Again, I can sit and wait for you to subscribe. Did you push a button? Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, see you guys soon. Thanks for uh, tuning in with me. Talk to you again. Bye-bye.